All right, Dave Schwartz is joining me now to talk about the big sports story going on tonight, and that is of Ohio State football coach Urban Meyer. He's on paid leave right now while the university investigates what he knew and when he knew it about his now-fired assistant coach, Zach Smith. That's right. Smith is being accused of repeated abuse by his now ex-wife, Jenna, who involved police in her claims more than once. Coach Meyer admitted in 2009 to knowing about an incident where Smith allegedly harmed his then pregnant wife, but claims he knew nothing of it doing it, even when it was reported to police in 2015. All right, Dave. This is interesting. It is interesting, and this has got so much circumstantial evidence to it. You really need to read Brett McMurphy's reporting on this, mm -hmm. and we'll get to that in a minute. But... Ohio State is no slouch in college football. Yeah. Urban Meyer is one of the highest paid coaches in college football and one of the most storied. There's no smoking gun here. So what does Ohio State have to do? Do they still have to let him go or will they fight to figure out a way to keep him? I think at this point, mainly what the two sides are trying to figure out is what did Urban Meyer know and can, is that enough to dismiss him from his contract? Obviously, if, if he knew of this because of Title IX, because of the, there, there is a clause in his contract that if he knew this and failed to report it, that is a fireable offense. So, the, so right now, my guess, and I don't have inside knowledge, but my guess is that the university is meeting with their people and Urban Meyer is meeting with his people. They're going through the contract. They're going through everything that they know, and they're saying, okay, is this a dismissible offense? Should we be getting rid of them? And Urban is going, okay, did I do anything wrong that's traceable? And are they going to be able to get rid of me? So one of the big issues here, and we've talked about it, is that the person who was allegedly abused told Urban Meyer's wife mm -hmm. several times. And she also told other coaches' wives several times. And there are text messages to show that she's perhaps telling the truth. Yeah. So Urban's Urban's wife might have known, and yep. that is leading a lot of people to say other coaches' wives knew, yeah. maybe other coaches knew, your wife knew. How do you not know? And let's not, let's not forget the fact that he knew that this happened before. Correct. And this he happened, knew this happened in, in 2009. 2009 right. And even then, he didn't get rid of the coach. Right. To me, that, that there's a real big issue here of, of ignoring things that happened in your program all because you want to win. When he was at Florida, he had 31 players arrested in his time there. Yeah, he was 31. always on the top of the list of yeah. most players arrested in college programs. But when you win, that gets wiped under the rug. And that is a huge issue right now in Division I college athletics. Okay, we've talked about that before, and we'll end on that. It's a huge issue. You were here talking about it in the NHL. Should mm -hmm. we let a player back in who beat his wife pretty badly? Yep. Should we let Urban Meyer keep coaching if he was close enough to this to maybe he should have known? Is this an opportunity for big-time male sports programs to say, no, enough is enough? It is. If, there, if this proves to be true, yeah. If it proves to be true that he knew, in my mind, there should be no reason why he should be coaching anymore. We, we saw what happened with Art Bryles at, at Baylor. We saw what happened with Joe Paterno in Penn State. This is a, a, a moment, you call it a watershed moment if you want, sure. for college athletics to say, if this happened, if you knew about this and you turned a blind eye, you will not be coaching at our institution. All right. Well, he's on leave and practice is closed to the media. So yes. we will see what happens at Ohio State soon. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Appreciate it. All right, well, after the break, a warning to parents with kids who love Fortnite, because we like to talk about that on this show. But first, here's what you think about what's going on with Urban Meyer.